Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a bit of a different video, it's a mobile phone unboxing video. Now I've always had iPhones, I've always liked iPhones, I like how easy they are to transfer all your stuff from an iPhone when you get a new one. So that's the reason why I've always stuck to iPhones. However, I've gone for a Samsung this time. I think the model is A12, we'll have a look in a minute when I open it, but I'm sure it is A12. And the only reason I went for this phone is because the monthly contract is the cheapest. It's with Tesco Mobile, which are currently saying that they're not going to increase their rates, which all the other providers are currently doing. Although it's on Tesco Mobile, the network that they run on is 3 network, I believe. So just because it's Tesco's network, you're still getting the same signals if you signed up to 3 directly. So... That's always something to bear in mind. The contract is eleven ninety nine a month and there's zero upfront costs for the phone. So very, very happy with the low monthly amount coming out. And the fact that I have to pay extra for the phone is a bonus as well. So I just wanted to do a bit of an unboxing to kind of first thoughts and things like that. Because like I said, I've never gone for a Samsung before. So I want to see if it's the same build quality and packaging as an iPhone. So here we go, straight in, there's the SIM card, here's the phone, so it's the Galaxy A12 by Samsung, let me just adjust the camera a bit, and here we go, so straight away quite a nice packaging. a look how it looks and see what you get with it here we go got the trusty knife And this is just the quick start guide and a warranty card in there. Here's the main event. Oh, so straight away, it's quite a lot bigger than I thought. It's got quite a nice bit of weight to it. Although you don't want a phone to be too heavy, you don't want it to feel too cheap and light either. And this feels nice weight. It's got the blue colour, you could either get black or white or blue, so I decided to go for blue, I thought it was a bit different. You've got the four cameras, apparently it's got a wide angle lens which would be nice. Here we go. Yeah, it's quite a nice screen. I like the fact it hasn't got any buttons. The iPhone, my last iPhone was an iPhone 5, so that's got the button still there camera on the front it's got a bit of a kind of like textured feel to it as well you can probably see it on the camera so yeah looks nice what else do we get in the box so we've got a battery charger charging cable SIM card tool there. And that looks like everything. Bit of a flimsy box compared to the iPhones. But got everything we need. I know with some of the newer iPhones you don't get the I'm pretty sure you don't get the charger. With some of the new ones now. Just assume you've got the charger already. So there we go. That's that. Oh, you've got a 
got quite a lot of slots on here, look at that. So, three SIM card slots. So what's that memory? Oh, that's a micro SD card. So that's interesting, because you don't get that with iPhones, do you? You don't get the option to put in a memory card. They rely on you getting the cloud and sign up to their services to get more storage, so that's good. You've got a micro SD card and you've got space for two SIM cards. I'm not so sure why you would need two SIM cards, but still. SIM card. I need to work out what size I need because you can snap these down, can't you? That used to be the standard size of a SIM card. Now you've got a couple of sizes. I'm not sure what size I need. It looks like the micro. The smallest one it looks like. I'm not sure which one it goes in. Does it go in the first one or the end one? Sim 1, Sim 2. So it looks like it goes into the middle one. There we go. And then let's pop that back in. And let's power it up. So what I like to, that would look quite cool online is on the side bit here, that's the actual fingerprint uh, recognition. So you know on some of the other older iPhones you had to put your hand down there. It's also got face recognition which is good. But yeah it's got, that is actually the fingerprint reader. So when you hold it like that, as long as you put your thumb on there, it unlocks it. So that's pretty cool. Let's see. Here we go, so we're in. I wonder if anyone actually reads the user agreements. She has a Wi Fi. I'm going to go and put my pin in. There we go, so I've just put the pin in. So straight forward so far. I'll take that sticker off in a bit. It just says what size it is. It's 64 gigabytes. But when you've got space for a micro SD card, you can obviously increase that anyway. That's why I went for the lowest amount of memory. And also, like I said, it was just literally the cheapest monthly phone that I could find that was kind of half decent. There was some slightly cheaper, but they were like tiny little phones with little screens that you could probably play Snake on still. Let's just load him. I like the screen, it's really it's a really nice size screen and it's although it's a nice big screen it feels nice in your hand I think because it's quite sort of it's more long than wide it fits in your hand quite nicely so it says you can transfer apps and data I haven't had an Android phone before, so I'm going to say no. Skip that for now. Skip that as well. Got 
to be Google, hasn't it? I didn't even know all these other ones existed. Duck, duck, go. Look at them all. Got to be Google, though, hasn't it? You need to get used to this in your hand. With my other phone, you can kind of touch the whole screen. But to get to the top, it is a bit awkward. To get over there, it's quite awkward because the phone is obviously quite long. So that's interesting. Okay, so I've got to do a pin, so do that off the screen. Okay, so this is like I said to you about the fingerprint. literally that bit on the side add another fingerprint and let me add and I can do my thumb so if I'm holding it in this hand that's a bit easier isn't it if you hold it in that hand which you just touch it like that Okay, next. It says um, TikTok's an essential app, so I have to get that on. Uh, essential app, TikTok. Skip that. Skip, skip, skip. Finished. There's lots of um, personalization you've got to do. all set up it's a nice and clear screen and then you can obviously adjust everything how you want it that's what's different about Samsung and Apple you can literally move the screen around you can change the size of the widgets make them bigger make them smaller adjust it all around which is nice nice touch so yeah there we go I'm obviously going to have a bit of a play around and see the features, but setting up was quite easy. And it's just, I think, for me, it's getting used to the bigger phone to get the buttons at the top. I don't know if you double tap. If it, with the iPhone, you double tap, don't you, and the screen all comes down. But let me know in the comment sections if there's something similar where you can bring the screen down so it's easier to reach the top buttons. But yeah, overall... Very nice looking phone, first impressions. I'll have to do an update video after I've had a play around with it and used it for a couple of weeks. But yeah, first impressions, very nice. And for 11 99 a month, absolute bargain. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Just wanted to add this in there. I got it wrong at the beginning. I said it was um, 3 Network. They're actually Tesco's mobile partner with O2 Network. You can see on there it says you'll get 99% network coverage as we share O2's network. So a lot of people don't realise that. When people see Tesco's mobile, they think, oh, it's not going to be very good service, signal's not going to be good. But you're basically getting the same signal and service as if you've got O2, which probably costs double the amount of monthly line rental. So yeah, very interesting little fun fact. Thanks again for watching.